you will not leave these topics. Okay. Just because we have done tough questions in the class doesn't mean that only tough question comes. There are equal amount of tough and easy questions that comes. So write it along with me just for the sake of knowing that easy questions also comes. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a question which has come in 2004, one mark. You will write along with me and you will tell me what is the answer also first. Okay, write it along with me now. You are ready? Okay. The question is like this. One dimensional, I'll write 1D, unsteady, and steady state. Heat transfer, unsteady state heat transfer equation, equation for a sphere, for a sphere with the heat generation. With the heat generation at the rate at the rate of Q can be written as can be written E one by R do by do R of R do T by do R plus Q by K is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t b 1 by r square dou by dou r r square dou t by dou r plus q by k is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t third one c Do square t by do r square plus q by k, write it along with me, is equal to 1 by alpha do t t do by do r square, do square do r square r t plus q by k is equal to 1 by alpha do t by d. tell me the answer without seeing going back tell me the answer that is think think properly and write it's easy is it not one mark comes directly with this so you have to just remember this kind of questions may also come right everybody got the answer sphere it is not right online storage tell me the answer B is B, right? Everybody is comfortable with B? No? Now see back, go back. Now go back and see sphere. Conductivity in a spherical coordinate. Just see. There is a jet blast. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of jet blasts, right? even on this side. Okay. Look at it once, then you'll understand. So our answer is B. Can I go? Third one, tell me what is third. Fourth is not required. It's bullshit. Third one is? Third one is for what? It is for a slab, is it not? We can take a plain wall, yeah, slab. Let us take this as R, that's it. R is just a number. 
R is just a variable, is it not? So be comfortable with change in notations. This has no meaning. Next. Next question is also easy. That is not required because it's too much easy, so I will not do that. Another one also is easy. That is the first chapter. You have to see this. Not all I have solved. Keep in mind. See, another question has come in 2005 again for one month. I wanted to write this question. In a case of, I hope I have started recording. In the case of 1D heat conduction, in a medium with constant properties, with constant properties. T is the temperature at position X, at the position X, at the time T, time T, then, then, dou T by dou T is proportional to a t by x b do t by do x c do square t by do x do t t do square t by do x All nice students. Others figure out, figure out. Yeah, Trishu will tell me. It feels like D. D. I'm not sure. You think it is D? Yes. Okay. Others, Shailesha. ಟಿ <laughs> Now we have asked this particular thing. And this is, we can say zero or not zero. But anyhow, this is zero because it's one dimensional. So it is proportional to this, right? Yes. Simple, huh? The equation is the equation and the equation is the equation. A lot of things has to be understood. One, one equation has a lot of information which is put into it. These are sutras. Formulas, sutras, okay, like 
whatever the Vedic maths you have is because of the four sutras only, four shlokas only you have. And based on that, everything is there. The whole Vedic maths is there. Similarly, here also, you say, uh, people who are who is having a debate within the Vedas and uh, uh, science, you know, we have a very good equation. True, you have four words, four shlokas. We have only two, uh, four words, okay, say, F is equal to M A. From this we can get a lot of things. This is a formula. How many things are based on this alone? Is it not? The whole of fluid mechanics and the whole of uh, solid mechanics is based on this. F is equal to M into A. Right? Done. This is also a good question. Heat flow, this has come in a 2005 or two marks. Easy questions we will do one by one. Two marks. Heat flows. Heat flows through a composite slab. Through a composite slab as shown below. As shown below, the depth of the slab is one meter. The k values, the k values are in watt per meter Kelvin. The overall thermal resistance. in Kelvin per watt is A 17.2, B 21.9, C 28.6 and D 39.2. The is given like this.
Brasil. Easy, is it not? Then use more video, calculate and use more video. Or not get calculate and use more. Habit more video. Then I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell you that. Values are not the same as you can tell me. I will tell you that practice is not the method of practice. बंदा बंदा आंसर गुड गुड शुभेच्छ बाकी और उमानी Resistance is equal to L by L1 by K1A plus K. Yeah, you have say, uh, I'll write R1. R is equal to R1 plus 1 by 1 by R, R2 plus 1 by R3. Very important. Because those are in series, uh, parallel. This is in series. R1 plus R1 R2 divided by sorry R2 R3 divided by R3 plus R one by Allah 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 it is see one by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So, you know, R is 1 by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So, you know, get R2, R3 by R3 plus R2. So, R2, R3 divided by R3 plus R2. Let's take a look at R1 is 2. So, what is R2? R1 is 2. R1 is equal to K by uh, L by K A. Area is to 1. You know, it is very important. Area 1. 1 into 1. To the depth. Right? So, L is to 0.5. Right? Uh, K is to K is 0 0.02 into area is 1. Why? It is 1 into 1. 1 is the depth. That you get R1, R2 you get as L2. L2 is this. We will take this as 2. Okay, so L2 is 0.25 divided by K is 0 0.01 into 0.5 into 1. So you get R2. R3 you get it as L is 0.25 divided by k is 0 0.04 and this one is equal to 0 0.5 into 1. R2 and R3 is the same. So don't have to worry. Is it not? No, it's not the same. I'm sorry. It's not the same. Area is the same, but... 
बेटी क्या कहते हैं सिंपल सब्सिट्यूशन So you get R1 as 25, R2 as 5, R3 as 12.5. Correct. Kelvin per watt, Kelvin per watt, Kelvin per watt. Answer you get is 28.6. स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस हेज कम इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स फॉर वन मंथ इन ए कॉम्पोजिट स्टाफ द टेम्परेचर एट द इंटरफेस between between two materials temperature the interface t inter t inter t inter between t inter between two materials between two materials is equal is equal to the average to the average of the temperature equal to the average of the temperature at the two ends at the two ends assuming assuming steady one dimensional heat conduction conduction which of the following statement is true about the respective thermal conductivity e Two K one is equal to K two. B K one is equal to K two. C two K one is equal to three K two. C D K one is equal to two K. Figure is like this. the figure is given so here you have k2 and you have t2 here here you have t1 and this is 2b this is b and then This is K one. Yes. 
this one. B2. Is it easy? Yeah, it is. Easy, is it not? Looks difficult, but it is easy. Banta, D, Banta. So, what is T inter? Is it equal to? Average T one plus T two into the two. What the in what? Make an thing. Why a in? In reciprocal model. Heat conduction in the equation is the resistance that contracts. That what? So what happens? Q, which is equal to, is the same thing. So we have T one minus T inter divided by resistance, which is K1 by uh, L, L1 by KA, is it not? So it is 2B by K1 into area will be equal to T2 minus T inter divided by B divided by K2 into A. Right? So T inter in both sides, so it cancels. So we can get it directly. Don't doubt very much. No. Monday is the full work done. Get easy, easy shadow. So easy question for that is coming up. Just so that you get could get confident that heat transfer will not be done. Solve the question for more than ten. That is, you have to do easy questions for that. Then for it, for it, then not. Okay. Next question. This has come in 2006 for two months. What will happen? Yeah, that's it. 
ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಇರ್ಲಿ ಜನ ಇದ್ದಾರ ಏನಾಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿದ್ದದ್ ಮಾತ್ರ with an increase with an increase with an increase in the thickness with an increase in the thickness of insulation thickness of insulation around a circular pipe around a circular pipe heat lost to the surroundings heat loss to the surroundings due to due to a convection increases while that due to conduction decreases b convection decreases why that due to conduction increases c convection and conduction increases b convection and conduction very is d convection and conduction reduces okay so this is given by our others others come on online students we have our david giving this answer others b by our that's it think think and ask rishul b is b convection decreases why does convection decrease why does convection decrease why does conduction increase why does conduction convection decrease and why does conduction increase so when more see what is convection heat transfer q q is h into a into delta t whereas q 
Q due to conduction is equal to K A delta T by L or the thickness so now tell me when I increase the cladding conduction your XW increases whereas A log mean also increases correct so what is the answer answer is A And that is what we do in critical thickness, right? Critical thickness of insulation. Why it is happening? I'll tell you one more reason about critical thickness of insulation. Why is that when the critical thickness of, when the cladding or the radius of the insulation is less than critical thickness of insulation? What is happening? So this I will say critical thickness of insulation. Now, if I take a R here, what is happening? What is happening is, as you increase over here, the insulation area of the surface increases. So, convection increases. So, QC increases. Although, QD is reducing, before this, the increase in QC, before when, when RC, R is less than RC, QC, delta QC, delta QC, increase in QC, increase is greater than delta QD reduction there is reduction but qc how it is increasing is much higher than qd increase decrease it is for sure that qc increases qd reduces q not q qk reduces qk reduces conduction qk re reduces but when r is less than rc then the rate in which or we can say the rate let it be better t of d thickness r is always greater than d q k by d r when r is greater than r c then what happens d q c by dr which is always negative is less than dqk by d correct so now change in conductive reduction one thing i'm telling you change in convective heat transfer qc is dq by dr is DQC by DR is always negative. Sorry, always positive. Very important. So, when you increase the cladding R, what is going to happen? QC is going to increase. And when DQK by DR is always negative but the increase in qc when r is less than rc the increase in conductive heat transfer is higher than the decrease in conductive heat transfer so what happens net heat transfer increases i'll repeat again when the conductive heat transfer when the R is less than RC, the convective heat transfer rate, change in the convective heat transfer rate is more than the decrease in the conductive heat transfer rate. So what happens? Overall heat transfer rate increases. 
so what happens q overall increases when r is greater than rc q overall decreases write this one and think about it important note There are very less people who read textbooks. And I want you to read textbooks. If this was around, say, a few years back, say, around 10 years back, then I would see everybody with textbooks. Because when we were doing also, everybody was with textbooks. That was a culture. Now nobody is with the textbooks. Now whatever is it, this book is most required. At that time, everybody, textbook only. We used to buy textbooks in uh, bulk. Right. Uh, next time. It's negative. Yes. Rate, rate, I'm talking about. Rate. This term is negative. Yes. Exactly. Uh, okay, let me put it like this. Let me put this way, then there is no confusion. Otherwise, inequalities will create a lot of trouble. Thank you. 
that will solve the problem. Today we have to do a unique quality. This is not. Otherwise, probability will be going to the top. So, increase it always. Reduce. Why? Huh? Not that area. Not that area. It is the L that is increasing. Length that is increasing. XW that is increasing. What is increasing is this XW. So when XW increases, area is increasing, I do agree. It is not increasing at the rate which it has to increase because it is increasing as a log mean area. What is this? This is log mean area, is it not? You can check it out for that matter. Let us do an ex example. Okay, to explain you this, let us do an example. Let us take. Okay, yeah. Let us take an example and let us do it. Okay, just for you to con get convinced that P S C reduces. Let us take an example. Done, written, finished for us. Now, now see here. Uh, example. Let us have a circular area with the say temperature on this. This is the pipe which is going. It's going at 75 degrees centigrade. Say 75 or 100 degrees. This I'm making it now, making up this, and I have an insulation. Say this has a thickness of say uh, 10 centimeter. Okay, that is a 10 centimeter, and the uh, insulation insulation is. Two centimeters. Can you tell me what is Q K and what is Q C? Can you tell me with this insulation K is equal to? <coughs> excuse me, students. Insulation K. One second. I have to tell you a lot of things. Outside temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. Outside temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. K is equal to 0.1 watt per meter square Kelvin. Meter Kelvin, point one watt per. The problem I give you, smell what I tell Point one watt per meter Kelvin, right? And here H, give it as three watt per meter square Kelvin. I can put any. Is it? Oh, okay. Now I am getting it. I, if you had not done this, I wouldn't have realized. It's heavy. What is happening? The network is going on probably. It's over there. The network is going on near the Nobara Center. It's coming to here. Nobara Center. What is that now called? Ocean Park. What is the name of the circle? I don't know. Nobara Center. It is named now, but now the name has changed. Yeah, it is uh, one of the Kannada poet. Name Manjeshwar Govindar. One of the Jnanapita awardees in Kannada. In Kannada. Ah, wall temperature, I don't know. Don't know the wall temperature. Do I require wall, uh, wall temperature? 
you are require more temperature steady state. You have to find the Q due to conduction and due to convection. Do it fast. What is the heat transfer due to conduction? What is the heat transfer due to convection? Try it. Go back. See it. Very fast. Come on. I can solve it, but I don't want to solve it. I want you to solve it. Yeah, mister, what is the answer? Yeah. Is there ammonia leak? T1 QC and QK are not equal to T1 25 degrees. T1 is not good. It's far off. It's not close. That's why I've written 25 degrees far. Yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah, okay. Find out, Madi. You all find out, Madi. What is the total Q? Initial QK is equal to QC, is it not? Any? Yeah, obviously. It was far away. <laughs> Tell me what is T wall also. Do it fast. Do it fast, students, or I'll do it. Q is equal to T 
माइनस टी इंफिनिटी और टी इन साइड माइनस टी इंफिनिटी डिवाइडेड बाई के बाई एल ए सॉरी एल बाई के ए एल बाई के ए के ए एल एम और वी कैन राइट इट एस आर और वी कैन राइट इट एस लॉग ऑफ आर नॉट बाई आर इन डिवाइडेड बाई टू बाई के एल प्लस ट्रांसफर so it is this is given as 10 by 2 so what will happen it is 2 by so you have to understand how it is this is 5 this is 2 it is 7 by 5 make sense very important to understand that okay so it is 100 minus 25 75 divided by log of 7 by 5 divided by 2 pi into k point 1 plus 1 by 2 pi into h so h is 3 into 2 pi into 7 r not is there r not is 7 so point 07 into l l we will take it as one only so we'll we'll ignore l because it is a same is it not per length Heat transfer per length one meter. So what is the answer you get? Q. What is the Q you get? What is the T one? now which resistance is more which resistance is more conductive resistance is more or convective resistance is more convective resistance is more or conductive resistance is more conductive resistance is more observe here you have say the resistance conductive resistance conductive is equal to k by or we can say k uh, we can write 2 pi so the conductive resistance is equal to log of correct no so to show point 9 just check it out
कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला इज प्रॉपर नो लॉग ऑफ आर नॉट बाय आर नो आई थिंक इट्स स्ट्रांग इज दिस प्रॉपर व्हाट इज कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला वन बाय हेच ए इज ओके दिस कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस दिस प्रॉपर नो या प्रॉपर ए एल लगी है इस प्रॉपर नाउ यू सी कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस आर नॉट बाय आर आई divided by 2 pi kl so when i increase r not what is going to increase conductive resistance is going to increase now convective resistance is equal to 1 by h into a what is going to happen when r not increases a increases convective resistance reduces so this whole thing can be understood in that fashion yes please sir. सर जी चलिए चलो डन सो मेन थिंग कम्स फ्रॉम देर ओनली ओके चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन This is a very good question, which has come in a 2007 gate question paper. Two marks. You have to do it fast, student. Okay? Heat is being transferred. Heat is being transferred conductively. Conductively from a cylindrical nuclear reactor cylindrical nuclear reactor fuel rod fuel rod of 50 mm diameter diameter to water at 75 degree centigrade under steady state condition under steady state condition the rate of the rate of heat generation the rate of heat generation within the fuel element within the fuel element element is 10 power 6 watt per meter cube and the convective and the convective heat transfer coefficient is 1 kilowatt per meter square kelvin 1 kilowatt per meter square kelvin the outer temperature the outer temperature of the fuel element of the fuel element would be would be a 700 kelvin b 625 kelvin c 360 kelvin d 400 kelvin
वन स्टेप क्वेश्चन then there is one more good question that i leave it to you after this is over ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಅಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂಲ್ ರಾಡ್ ಪೇಂಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾವ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯೂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಯು the q which is transferred u which is transferred is equal to q generator which is not it's a steady state okay so q transferred is equal to q transferred is equal to uh q transferred is equal to uh you say this outer surface and this surface okay is equal to h into a into t wall minus 75 degrees correct okay similarly q transferred is equal to q generated which is equal to q into volume that's it you equate this you will get q into volume q is known 10 power 6 volume is known what is it pi d square by 4 okay into length length is it given there no not required one meter length you can take and equate these two simple very very simple
ಈಗ ಈಗ ಟಫ್ ಕೊಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ next question madu another question has come in 2007 it's a linked question so 2007 we had more question on this sir okay the linked answer question okay. so let's consider consider steady one the heat flow in a plate in a plate of 20 mm thickness with uniform heat generation with uniform heat generation of 80 megawatt per meter cube the left and right faces the left and the right faces left and right face are kept are kept at constant temperatures of 160 degree centigrade and 120 degree centigrade respectively the plate has a constant thermal conductivity as a constant thermal conductivity of 200 watt per meter kelvin question 1 the location the location of the maximum temperature within the plate from the left face from the left face is A 15 mm B 10 mm C 5 mm and D 0 mm Q2 the maximum temperature the maximum temperature within the plate in a degree centigrade is a 
165 b 165 c 200 d 200 Hey, what you have to do? You have to solve the equation. Five member thing. Good. Let's answer. What you have to solve? You have to solve just this d square t by d x square. Plus Q G by K. Correct. Huh? Q G is equal to. Ah, okay. That's also. 
But how oh, did you get that like that? It is straight, fine. So it is straight, fine. So Q is equal to the heat radiated totally, is it not? Is equal to correct. Q is equal to the total Q, not from one side. Q is not the same everywhere. In case of the <coughs> rod, whatever Q is generated goes out of this. But here this is not the case. Some part of Q goes this side, some part of Q goes this side. Make sense? So what you should have? You should have, this is my opinion, you may get some other answers also. Okay dx square is equal to qg by k. Correct. How did you solve others? You did the same? Huh? Why am I correct answer? You solved in this fashion? What did you do? This you did? Oh, that's fine. Okay. So what happens? dt by dx is equal to qg by k. qg by k into x plus C1 and P is equal to QG by K into X square by 2 plus C1 X plus C. Now apply 160 on one side and the other one you get C1 and C2. Apply this back here. Say when DT by DX is equal to 0. That is a position of maximum. Then apply it back and get the maximum. Easy question. Yes. One sixty-five. Yes. I am not saying yes. In the sense I have got it. So one sixty-five. Is it the right answer? Like this? Correct answer. So answers are. Fine. So we'll stop it here, students.